No. Oh, no. no, I didn't. I did not allow the question, and I'm not going to allow that one either. Question number three, the Honourable Sir Roger Douglas. Uh, Mr Speaker, my question is to the Minister of Finance. Has he received any reports that suggest Budget 2011 nominal and real GDP per capita growth projections are unlikely to be met? If so, what are the consequences of this? The Honourable Bill English. Mr Speaker, I haven't received uh, any such advice oh, as yet. Treasury are currently preparing the um, pre-election economic and fiscal update, which will be released next month. The most recent assessment of the outlook was in the Reserve Bank's monetary policy statement uh, released two weeks ago. It showed cumulative growth and inflation broadly similar to the budget forecasts, while data for the year to June 2011 has generally been stronger than the budget assumed. The Honourable Sir Roger Douglas. Uh, Mr Speaker, given that the budget update for the last seven years has overestimated two-year real GDP growth projections by one percentage points on average, what specific contingency plans, if any, does he have for lost revenue of $14.5 billion if future growth is also one percent lower than budget 2011's optimistic projections over the next few years. The Honourable Bill English. Oh, well, Mr Speaker, the, this is a government that's always taken a pretty considered and balanced approach, and we uh, keep in mind that there's a range of outcomes from any budget. Things could turn out worse than you expected. Things could turn out better than you expected. Uh, uh, at the moment, though, I'd have to say that with the combination of uh, performance in June to uh, performance in 2011, where the economy has been uh, doing better than expected, and it's quite likely, given the international circumstances, that growth forecasts uh, two or three, year, two and three years out, might be a bit lower. Uh, we've yet to see um, from the pre-election fiscal update what that adds up to. But Reader. certainly, in these Reader. uncertain Reader. times, in these uncertain times. Governments uh, should be prepared for a range of different outcomes. The Honourable Sir Roger uh, Given the Minister's reply, could I ask him if growth is 1% lower than projected, as it has been in the past, will the government cut spending or will it abandon its commitment to New Zealanders that we will be back in surplus by 2014 15? The Honourable Bill English. Well, Mr Speaker, uh, uh, in the budget uh, we showed a tractor surplus in 2014-15 and it is uh, pretty important uh, in these uncertain times that the government sticks to that track and achieves that surplus. Question. Oh, sorry, the Honourable Trevor Mallard, supplementary question. Um, in light of the fact that he will have received the first draft of the PREFU uh, background documents now... Is he confident of his current growth forecasts uh, in, as he was in Budget 2010 when he promised a growth of 4.7 per cent between December 2009 and today, given that the actual growth has been less than half of that amount? The Honourable Bill English. Well, Mr Speaker, as the member will know, the pre-election update, uh, at least under this government, uh, is one that um, is produced independently by the Treasury. And uh, whether, I'd, whether I'd seen them or hadn't seen them, I wouldn't tell, I wouldn't tell the member anyway. Uh, we've, yet to see, we've yet to see what the Treasury uh, forecasts are going to show. What I can tell the member, though, is that whatever those forecasts show, we will not revert to the damaging and wasteful economic Order. policies of that government. Question number four, Minor Mac. 